beautiful long side action there. Uh, ended up trailing out for a profit, which was a great spot to be in. And now looking this week for pullbacks. So this is kind of my top watch list pair right now. Super boring, I know, to just keep trading the same pair over and over. But you know, nothing about trading is, is, you know, there was no promise of trading being super exciting, right? The actual execution of trading is pretty dang boring because you're just sort of sitting around and waiting. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do here with my dollar Swiss idea. So let me show you this, guys. So we've got a overall uptrend here. We're looking at the four hour chart on the US dollar against the Swiss franc. And overall, this thing is trending very nicely to the upside, right? We've got beautiful, uh, you know, moving average confluence to the upside and overall just continuing to chug higher. Now, we've discussed this several times, but the main idea for dollar bullishness here, uh, besides the technical price action, is the fundamental catalyst. Now, the big reason here for that is that inflation is very high in the United States. And last year, by the way, it's high in, in many other places as well. But in the US, the Federal Reserve has a mission. They want to get that inflation number back down to their target of 2%. It's a long-term goal for them because we're floating at a very high uh, 8 to 8 point, is it 8.4, 8.6, somewhere in the 8s. Uh, of inflation right now. We had the latest numbers come out last week, which caused a massive run up in the dollar. Why? Well, the inflation numbers missed yet again. We had a higher than anticipated level of inflation for the month of September, which caused the markets to be a little panicky and the dollar to shoot up. Now, this week, we seem to be getting a little bit of a pullback. So as we pull back, my goal is to try and pick it up on the long side. So I like 99 45, let's call it 99.45. Yep. So if we take a look at price action for a second, if we if we want to be long, right? So I want to I want to buy the dollar. Uh, I'd like to buy it against the Swiss franc. Well, we had this level here, this resistance point that held sign significantly. But then on this candle here, we got this big break to the upside, pulled back and shot to the upside. This is where we caught that trade. If you were uh, tuned into the previous live streams, we were long on dollar Swiss on that pullback. Now it looks like price might be stalling out and coming back down to the 99.45 level where I could potentially pick up another attempt to go long. So I'll give you guys this idea here. I would like to pick up dollar Swiss right where I left it off, right where I bought it previously. So let's target that. Let's let's talk about this a little bit. So we're narrowing in a little bit on this idea, but a pullback here perhaps to the 99.40 mark, let's call it. So right around in this area, I'd be interested in potentially trying to pick up dollar Swiss long yet again for another attempt to go higher. Now we've made a lot of uh, great trades on this pair recently. I've made some nice, nice profits off of just kind of riding this upward momentum. And this is where you sort of have to kind of come back and just say, hey, you know what? If the trade sets up again, uh, I'm taking it. So for me, that would be just a little bit more of a haircut here on the dollar Swiss. If that comes into play, I'll have to pick up some on the long side with a stop below market structure. So that's how I'm approaching this week. Uh, it is one of my top favorite pairs to look at. And I'll show you guys another reason why. Uh, we'll pull up the edge finder here for a second. And the edge finder. Uh, if you're not familiar, the Edge Finder is our tool uh, that we've built here at A1 Trading. We, uh, we're a small software team. We, we build trading tools for, um, for people who are interested in them. And this tool has been sort of the, the guideline to how I find my trades for the last uh, six months or so. Now, the, the strategy behind it I've used for much longer than that, but we finally got this tool built where we can kind of scan markets quickly and get an idea. So let's see. So if I'm taking a look at the uh, the edge finder here, what I've got is for the dollar Swiss, we've got a buy rating. Why is this a buy rating? Well, let's walk down the list just for a second. The COT data, uh, as of latest uh, numbers, I'll scroll down here so you can see it just a little bit better. So what we've got here is the US dollar actually increased in uh, its positioning from non-commercial traders. Big money has increased their long exposure to the US dollar as of last week. That's interesting information because the dollar has been so strong already, yet this is what hedge funds tend to do. They tend to ride trends, right? Which is what we're trying to uh, to mimic in our own trading. At least that's what I try and focus on. Comparatively speaking, we take a look at the Swiss franc. It has a very low long ratio. In fact, actually even a high level of short interest from institutional traders. Then we finally combine that. We say, well, who else also is uh, short on this pair? Well, it's the retail crowd, which tends to lose money. So if we know all of these stats, you know, that's going to align myself more to the long side, right? So COT 
looking at institutional traders, we get a long bias. Looking at the retail traders, we also get a long bias knowing that they're trying to sell this thing. So seasonality, also a big factor there, of course. So the month of October is actually a positive historical month for Dollar Swiss. And we're seeing that come to fruition as we speak. So the Dollar Swiss looks optimistic, looks strong, uh, and actually continues that expected rise in November. So some interesting stats there for you to pay attention to uh, on the Dollar Swiss. And this is why we maintain a long bias. Now, of course, a lot of times what traders will do is they'll just open up a chart and they'll st start drawing trend lines and support and resistance and all this and that. And many times people are so confused why that just doesn't work for them, why they're not actually able to make any sort of consistent profits. And what we found is that, yes, technicals matter, but technicals are just red light and green light signals. But direction, really understanding why a chart will go one way or the other, doesn't necessarily just come from technicals, at least in our uh, philosophy when it comes to markets. And when I'm saying our, I mean myself and the other traders and, and developers that are in, involved in building this tool. We focused more heavily on market data and trends that are sort of observable patterns. So for example, the month of October and November tend to be positive months for the dollar Swiss. That's an observable trait that we can use to sort of better align ourselves with strong market moves. By the way, um, if you'd like access to the Edge Finder, you can find it on our website, a1trading.com, uh, and you can, uh, you can get it there.